there are some thoughts, some truths that we find in, uh, in the world of Christian theology, Christian living, and they're really very simple, and, and a lot of people know them, but we get caught up in life and we forget. We sort of, actually, I think sometimes what happens is we sort of get caught up in ourselves and we forget these basic truths. Um, here's one that I came across recently. This is from a book called True Faced. Uh, three authors, Bill Thrall, Bruce McNichol, and John Lynch. Terrific little book. Uh, I read it years ago, but I, I came across this thought again. Here's how they put it. God's dreams for you are ultimately not really about you. Oh, oh, don't misunderstand. They'll bring you some of the best days of your life. You'll be fulfilled beyond any imaginable expectations. But God's dreams take form only when they are about others. For the benefit of others. Loving them. Guiding them serving them, influencing them, filling their heads with dreams and hopes. Uh, there are no other types of God dreams. Nothing less, nothing else will compel, attract, or seem worthy of this God heart within you. See, what God has for us, for you and for me, is about other people. That in many respects, the focus is on others. And, and as they put it so well, th this will bring fulfillment in our lives. But again, we have to think about others. You know, Jesus said this. <laughs> here's, here's how Jesus put it. Uh, he said, whoever wants to be first among you, you must be a slave to everyone else. That's how he put it. And, and then he even he said about himself, for even the Son of Man, that was, that was a reference to himself, for even the son, son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. That's in the book of uh, uh, Mark, chapter 10. It will be helpful for us, for you, for me, to take this constant focus off of ourselves and begin to think, how can I help others? How can I serve others?